city and of course also from so many other countries like from Kingdom of the Saudi Arabia, from Qatar, from Europe, up here to Wafra Farm area where we begin today with the first stud presentation which is parting in the Razan Festival, a great idea which was created by the people who are in the Divania together with um, Mohammed Al Mazouk with Mahmoud Zubayd, Suleiman Al Kinai, Dari Al Medjem, and so many others. And they came up with this idea that we should do something, we should do something which is not a show where horses are competing against each other, where a jury decides who is the winner, and already the second placed horse is kind of a loser. We wanted to have an idea um, set up where horses are coming together, bringing people together and we see the horses on their places, in their farms, in a very relaxed atmosphere and we are happy that so many breeders from around the Arabian Peninsula and also from Europe followed the invitation to come to Kuwait, enjoy the beautiful and spectacular straight Egyptian Arabian horses of Kuwait Arabian horse breeding. Yesterday we had the chance to see some spectacular farms and we can only congratulate the owners for what they have done over the past years. We saw lovely horses from uh, Talalis, from Al Al Rumi. The horses are all on the same place, same facility. These two gentlemen are friends since early childhood and they share the same passion they are so devoted to the straight Egyptian Arabian horse and they are still friends. And they have the horses on the same place and it was really an honor to see them. We really enjoyed. From there we moved to a relatively new farm of the Al Mari family, Al Adbastad, where we saw a lot of horses which were purchased mainly from Al Wab stud, many of them also based from uh, Al Rayyan Farm and from Sheikh Saud's breeding. And from there we headed then to Talal Mehri. He gave us a wonderful presentation of his breeding program which is based on several strains and families. And it was really a great uh, display of some beautiful horses. Today is the second day of the Al Razan festival. And we start this day with a presentation of uh, horses which are carefully selected by Mohammed al Rochez. He picked the top 10 according to his mind. He will show them to us and we truly will enjoy, I'm 100% sure. I have seen many of his horses participating in shows. He don't mind to uh, show his horses in competition with others. And at the entrance, you saw this lovely trophy collection. So over the past years, he won a lot. Sometimes with horses he had purchased, they are the base of his breeding program. Sometimes with young stock, which he bred by himself, and he's very proud of them. And I guess we are now ready. I know it's always a little bit difficult Friday early afternoon to be on time, but we have now 25 minutes past two. We should have started at two o'clock. And I guess we are now ready to welcome the first horses of Al Salam Arabian Stud. We thank a lot Mr. Al Bamaki, who is here with us presenting the horses. He's assisted and supported by Mr. Tarek Mundi from Egypt, Mr. Al Bamaki from Jordan, both of them experts in horses. Mr. Albamaki, junior, an excellent handler, has a big name here in the Gulf. And he is so kind to present the horses to us. Later on today, to brief you about the other farms, we'll be at Arabna Stud, which is relatively close by. Dari Al Medjem is so kind to invite us to see his lovely horses. 
From there we are moving to Al Mali Arabians of Mr. Khaled Al Enesi, Member of Parliament. And from there, as our last destination of today, to Mr. Mohammed Mubaraki, Mubarak Stad. Mr. Mubaraki several times won the most successful straight Egypt, Kuwait Straight Egyptian Arabian Horse Breeders Trophy, which we hand out at the international Egyptian events organized by Betel Arab, the Arabian Horse Center, a state star of Kuwait, which is usually organized in the mid of February. He used to participate there with some of his great horses, won a lot over the past years, and was honored and awarded several times with the title Most Successful Kuwait Straight Egyptian Arabian Horse Breeder. This is then the last and final destination of today. And tomorrow we continue again at 2 o'clock and we see the horses at Al Rehab Stad. Mr. Suleiman Al Kinai and his family. We move from there just on the other side of the road to El Adiyat Arabians of Mr. Mahmoud Al Subaid. From there to Ajmal Arabian Stad where we see Mohammed Mazouk's horses. And then as the Grand Finale. We will then see the horses the jury has selected in all the places. Our jury for the Razan Festival presentation is Sheikh Saud bin Abdulaziz Al Thani. He inherited the love and passion and devotion to the Arabian horse, to the straight Egyptian Arabian horse from his father, Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Hamad Al Thani founder of Al Rayyan Farm. He not only stamped the breeding program of Al Rayyan, but his influence is visible throughout the whole world. Sheikh Saud, in the meantime, is running his own breeding program. Horses from his farm have the suffix S-A and then the given name like S-A Mansur, S-A Shaila, etc. He breeds and owns some spectacular and lovely straight Egyptian Arabian horses. The second member of the jury is Mr. Rauf Abbas. We welcome him heartily here at the farm. Mr. Rauf Abbas uh, founded and owns Sheikh Al Arab Stad in Cairo, Egypt. He's one of the oldest breeders in Egypt. I think his registration number of his farm is number 81. In the meantime, we have more than 2,000. He has a lovely collection of straight Egyptian Arabian horses found at his farm in 1995 and is truly an expert, a licensed judge in Ekaho. And we really appreciate that he accepted the invitation. And the third member is Mrs. Cornelia Tauschke of El Taiba Arabian Stud in uh, Germany, close neighbor to Dr. Hans Joachim Nagel. And El Taiba Stud celebrated two years back the 50th anniversary. It's quite a successful farm. Yesterday you saw several horses which are descending from her breeding program. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first horse entering the arena with pride and dominating presence. And this is Wafa Al Salam. She's by Mutayir Al Baida out of Layan Al Salam. So it's already the first generation of the breeding program of Mr. Mohammed Al Rochez. He established and founded his farm not long time back. I think it's about maybe 10, 15 years only. But look at her. This is truly an eye catcher and she loves to show off. Her sire, Mutayir Al Baida, is a son of uh, Faris Rashid Al Qasr out of Ansata bin Sharazad. And Ansata bin Sharazad is by Faris. We name him the old Faris, although he's no longer with us. He passed away some years back. And the dam is Ansata Sharizad. In her pedigree, she traces back to Ansata Rosetta. So this is Nachman Shavan, Bukra family. A lovely young filly. Layan Al Salam, the name of, uh, of this lovely filly which you just saw, is by 
is Aldanat out of Jalayel Albaida. You will see Jalayel Albaida as the third horse to come in. So this was already a great start. She presented herself in a spectacular way. We expect soon the next to come, and here she is, uh, a youngster, just only about a year old. Her name is Najd Al Salam. He's by Mutaya Al Baida, so a half sister to the one you have just seen. And her name is Lunua Al Salam. The strain is Dahman Shavan, going back to the Nile family. So I was mistaken, this, uh, this line goes back to the Saglawi Jedran strain and it's the Rogaratiba family we have seen yesterday. A couple of horses at Talal Mechi's place. From this uh, strain and family, actually there is not so many around, but we are fortunate that we have some beautiful examples here in Kuwait, not only at Talal Mechi, but also here with Mohammed Rojes, who is also valuing this family very highly. And this filly is truly an eye catcher. Very fine in all parts. Noble. Elegant. Very pretty head. Gorgeous neck with a clean throat. A balanced confirmation. Good tail carriage. Very nice filly, Mabruk. The third on your leaflets is Samo Al Salam, again the daughter of Mutayi Al Baida, whom I have introduced already to you. And the dam is Jalayil Al Baida. Jalayil is also the dam of Layan Al Salam, the dam of Wafa Al Salam. So, from the first horse you have just seen, so it's going back to the same family, which is Dahman Shawan, the Nile family. she goes. Already a matured mare. But you do see the family relationship, um, especially through the same sire of these first uh, three. This Mutayi Albaida seems to stamp his offspring. He gives this lovely and cute expression, the feminine charm, the good eye. They're all showing a very strong confirmation. Short back and long croup, a nice well laid back shoulder. Compared to the two youngsters, she has a bit more self-confidence. Of course, not the first time sh that she is shown in front of 
such a spectacular audience of horse experts. Very fine mare. One can only congratulate Mr. Mohamed al Rochez for having bred this lovely mare. She was already shown several times successfully. And for sure, she has a great future. Not only in the show ring, but also as a cornerstone mare here in the breeding program of Al Salam Arabian Stud. Thank you. The next to be with us, ladies and gentlemen, is Rabia Al Anba. She is by Ali Al Zubara out of Al Anud Al Safinat. Al Anud Al Safinat is bred by Mr. Khaled bin Shoka Al Safinat Stud. And she is by Rayan Al Safinat, who is the son of Adnan and R.N. Rayana. And the dam is Kama al Safinat by Ansata Hijazi and Ansata Exotica by Jamil. Going back to Ansata Rosetta, so it's Dachman Shawan, the Bukra family. It's one of the most important families at Al Safinat Stad. Khaled bin Shoka bred some fantastic horses out of this family and is very proud about it. And the uh, the sire of this lovely filly is Ali Al Zubara, and he is by uh, Ali Da out of El Tai Tiffany. El Tai Tiffany is from the Hadban and Zahi strain, as the name says, bred by El Taiba Arabian Stud in Germany, the Tauschke family. El Tai Tiffany was many years back purchased by. Sheikh Abdulaziz, he used her in his breeding program. Later she went to Al Zubarastad. And she was able to establish her own family. There are some more representatives from this family also here in Kuwait. With Suleiman Al Kinai, I guess we will see some tomorrow at Al Rehab Stad. Lovely filly with a fine head. Gorgeous expression, very showy. Loves to present herself. Overall, balanced. Everything is in a beautiful harmony. Very well shown by Mr. Albawaki.
The next we are expecting to come is Fakarat al-Salam by Ez al-Rashidiya out of Shams al-Raya and Shams al-Raya is by Bahay Ezein. We have seen several of his gets yesterday at Talal Mehri, al uh, sorry, at Talal Alris and Al Al Rumi's place. And Shams al-Raya is out of Shakra al-Raya by Ansata al mutajis and Alida Madin. So going back to via um, Mesuda M to the Saglavi Jedran strain, the Monetel Nefus family. You will see now a couple of Ez al Rashidiya production here in the farm. Ez al Rashidiya resided for some time on a lease with our dear friend Mahmoud Al Ansaruti, Sham Stables, originally from Syria but residing now in uh, the Netherlands. He gave a home to the so called Noble Straight Egyptian Arabian Horse Breeders Festival, which was giving kind of an initiative to the breeders here in Kuwait to do something not copy paste but something similar and then the idea of the Razan festival was created. This is definitely a youngster of very fine expression. Beautiful little girl. I guess our dear friend Mohamed Rochez is very proud of her. And it's a fine example of what Ez al Rashidiya can do. He left behind in the Netherlands some very, very beautiful foals. Mahoud Ansaruti is very proud of them. And we will see tomorrow some more Ez al Rashidiya foals with Suleiman al Kinai and I guess also Dari al Mejem. Maybe also with Mohammed al Mazouk, I'm not sure. We'll see. This stallion truly is about to make his way to become a spectacular stallion. He is by Ansata Nile Echo out of Nabawiya Ezein, and Nabawiya Ezein is by Ansata Al Mutajis out of NK Nakebiya. And finally goes back via Nashua to Lotfia. This is Hatman and Zahi. Going back, of course, to Yosreya. And here we have another youngster. This is Kuwait Yad Al Salam by Mutaya Al Baida out of Lula Al Salam. And Lula Al Salam is by Ez Al Rashidiya out of Al Masa Asayel. And, and she is by Ez Ezein. As a Zain bred, as the name says, by late Osama al Qasimi, a Zain Arabian stud. He went first as a youngster to Egypt. Somehow he was underestimated for many years, but he developed beautifully in uh, Egypt, was shown very successfully, especially in Europe at the Egyptian event Europe of the Pyramid Society. Europe was then sold to Kuwait, he had a beautiful breeding career, and then finally made his way to Hanaya Arabian stud of Naila Hayek, Switzerland. Unfortunately, he did not live long. He left behind some good foals with uh, Naila Hayek, but passed away much too early, and he is deeply missed. Gorgeous stallion. He was three times, I think, gold champion senior stallion at the international, national international show of straight Egyptian Arabian horses here in Kuwait. Unbeaten while he was in Kuwait. Almasa Al Sail is a daughter of Sakawats and she is by Gadalla, a very fine stallion of the EIO, unfortunately no longer with us, out of uh, Sakia and through Osoris and Gader she goes back to Rayana. So it's again Saglawi Jedran 
going back to Roga and Ratiba. A second fine example of this family which we see here. We saw some more yesterday, Halal Mechri, and now two more here in the farm. It's that they are really being a column of the breeding program of Mr. Mohamed Rochez. Very fine filly. Mabruk. The next we are expecting is Neom Al Salam. She is by Ezal Rashidia, whom I had already introduced to you, out of Jalayel Al Baida, another youngster of this fall crop from uh, the season 2022-2023, as the breeding and birth season starts in October. 2022 and ends in about uh, May 2023 and accordingly the foals are born. We already mentioned Jalayel al Baida before as she presented to us already Sumu al Salam by Mutaya al Baida and now we have a daughter of her by Ez al Rashidia. So it seems that Jalayel al Baida is truly a root mare of Al Salam stud. Doing a great job. And you can see that even here in a farm which is relatively young, maybe existing since about 15 years, so it's now the first, in some cases even only the second, the first, uh, uh, first and the second generation, breeders of straight Egyptian Arabian horses mainly are thinking in generations, they make long-term plans, they are not running after show successes, some of us like to go to shows just to present our horses in the competition to others and to show them to independent jury members who do not know who is in front of them and give their judgment very objective. And we collect this kind of information, make up our own mind, but finally it is more thinking about pedigrees, analyze pedigrees, learn how to read and to understand the pedigrees, learn about families which have proven over decades that they pro produce consistently. You don't find this so much in uh, breeders who are just only into shows. They are running after show successes, they buy show horses, and breeding a, a good show horse is really not an easy task. There is a huge genetic variety, and sometimes it comes just by chance that a true highlight pops up. These are then, of course, of great value. But there are so many others who are not good enough to win the big shows. And one can ask the question, what is going to happen with them later on? In straight Egyptian Arabian horse breeding, it's a, yeah, I wouldn't say it's easier, but at least the uh, total population is 
a limited number. We have a limited genetic pool and we have to understand the ancestors and see that we are breeding into families and root mares which have proven themselves to be good producers. This is all. So we have now with us Mushra Al Salam. She's by Ez Al Rashidia out of Almas Al Sayil. She's by Ez Ezain out of Sakawad, daughter of Gadalla from Egypt. Gadalla, one of the. Um oh, this is a boy, sorry. I didn't see him from behind. Mushri, by the way, is uh, a full brother to Lulu Al Salam. You have seen already a fallen offspring of Lulu Al Salam as the second horse to come in. So, again, it's a proof that also our friend uh, Mohammed Rochez is thinking in uh, families, root mares. and is building up his breeding program by using carefully selected stallions and the sires he has used mostly Mutai al-Baida as well as Ez al-Rashidiya definitely have proven themselves as good producers and fitting very well with the lovely mares of al Salam Arabian stud. The next to come is the second last of the uh, top 10 collection of Al Salam Stad, and this is Magram Al Salam. He is a full brother to Wafa Al Salam, the very first who entered the arena, greeting us all and giving a warm welcome. So he is by Mutayal Al Baida out of Layan Al Salam. And the boy will be with us in a bit. So Magram, like Wafa al Salam, is also going back to the Dachman Shawan strain, the Nile family. Also from the Nile family, there is not so many around. I know there are a few very good ones in uh, Qatar. Especially Al Wab Stad has a very fine family of uh, going back to the Nile family, some very fine representatives. We have a family of the Nile line in uh, Beit Al Arab, the Arabian Horse Center in State Stud of Kuwait. Foundation mayor was Ansata White Nile, who stamped the breeding program through her daughters. Wafa El Kuwait and Warda El Kuwait, both by Ansata Hijazi. It has proven so many times that Ansata Hijazi on Prince Farmonyet daughters nicks very well. Here we go with the boy named Magram Al Salam, Mutayya Al Baida out of Layan Al Salam, dam of Wafa, full brother to Wafa Al Salam. Layan Al Salam is by Ez Zaldanat out of Jalagil Al Baida. And Jalagil Al Baida you have seen as the dam of number three, Sumo Al Salam. And also Neum Al Salam. So it's really a strong family. And one can only congratulate Mohammed Rochez 
for this great root mare. Very promising young boy. Beautiful head. Very nice expression. I think he's a bit... Thank you so much. And we'll soon have in the arena the last of the top ten of Al Salam Arabian Stud, and this will be Dalil Al Kuwait. She's by Marwan El Kuwait out of DHS Amina. This is of Dalston House stud of the fa fa Schwestermann family. People from Switzerland, but have their residence and farm in Ireland. And this DHS Amina is by Aladi Dal Shakab and Amira Madin. So she goes back to Shanika, and this is Hadban and Zahi. The sire of Dalil, Marwan El Kuwait, he is the son of Vajmal Al Quds, who passed away much too early while he was on lease to Beit Al Arab, the state stud of Kuwait. He was there for two breeding seasons, was used already before, occasionally on some mares, but there were many more to breed, and Mohammed Mazouk agreed to give him on lease as he had only limited options to use him as he was so close related to many of his mares. So Beit Al Arab got him. He was there for two years, produced some outstanding stock. There are some lovely daughters by Ajman Al Quds at Beit Al Arab. And he produced the spectacular son Marwan El Kuwait. He is one of the chief sires. Ajmal al -Kut out of Mesk el Kuwait, and Mesk el Kuwait is by Ansata Hijazi. In her dam line, she goes back via GK Bay Masuda to the Farida Halima line. And here we go with this promising boy. He was offered at the auction of uh, Beit Al Arab some years back. The breeding management of Beit Al Arab decided as we have his father still there, who was at this time also still young. It's too early to keep a son of him. So it was decided to offer him to a dedicated and passionate breeder. Finally, Mohamed Rochez took this chance, he fell in love with a young boy, saw the quality and the strong genetic potential in him, and was fortunate to buy him. He gave him a good home, gave him time to develop, and he truly matured into a very interesting stallion. He 
is a big mover. Expresses with type and charisma. His athletic confirmation. Stamina. Will be very interesting to see in the near future some of his produce. And with the presentation of Dalila Al Kuwait by Marwan Al Kuwait and DHS Amina, we are closing this presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Let me express on our, beh on our all behalf our sincere thanks to Mr. Mohammed Al Rochez and his team at Al Salam Arabian Stad. Thank you, Fadi Al Mubaraki Al Barmaki, sorry, Al Barmaki, for the lovely presentation. You have done a super job as always. And we invite you now to get back to your cars and head to our next destination, which is Arabnastad of Dari Al Medjem, who is eagerly waiting for us and happy to show us his wonderful horses. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. <laughs>